All right, what's up, guys? Pet Man, Matt Morrow, Carolina Varsity. We're taking a look at the first edition of the Charlotte Conference's Best to Last. And you guys that have been with me for the last couple years know that, you know, every week we go in, we rank the um, 23 teams in the three conferences, IMAX, Southwestern, and South Max 7 uh, from the Best to Last. So we'll jump right into it. Uh, 23 this week is Garinger. They lost 37 nothing to West Charlotte. 22 is Hopewell, uh, tough loss, 56 nothing to A.L. Brown. 21 is Independence, lost 51 to 8 to Dutch Fork and Tommy Knott's coming home party. Number 20 is Barry, they had a bye. Uh, this week they'll take on Rocky River. Conversely, number 19 is Rocky River, uh, lost tough guy, uh, tough game, 21 14 to South Iredale. Number 18 is Audrey Kell, uh, lost in the rivalry to Weddington, 28 nothing. 17 is West Charlotte. They did get the big victory, 37-0 over Garinger. Um, they're going to take on West Mech this week. West Side rivalry. 16, East Mech lost 23-7 to Providence. 15, Olympic lost 41-26 to Providence Day. 14, Mooresville uh, with the win, 29-3 over West Rowan. Good win for Mooresville. 13 is North Mech. Barn burner of a game, but they pulled it out. 31-29 over Durham Jordan. Uh, congrats to Coach Mormon on his first win with the Vikings. Number 12, Providence. 23-7 uh, win over East Mac. Uh, Coach Bowles starting out 1-0. Number 11 is Lake Norman. Lost 42-14 to West Forsyth. Tough game for them. That was a playoff rematch also. All right, top 10. Number 10, South Mech lost 33-19 to Marvin Ridge. Uh, that was a crazy game. Had crazy weather come in there. Um, you know, it's kind of tough to go through those elements like that. Uh, and South Mech's going to continue tough schedule uh, for the preseason, excuse me, pre-conference with uh, Charlotte Catholic this week. Number 9, Huff lost 24-22 to Harding. I almost pulled it out. Had a chance with a Hail Mary after they got an onside kick with 8.8 .8 seconds left. Um, team with a lot of talent. It's going to take a little time for it to all come together. Number eight is Porter Ridge. 27-20 win over Cutbertson. Good win for the Pirates and Mike Hurts. Number seven, Vance. Lost 42-19 to West Mech. Uh, Vance team still very talented with great coaching. Um, they just have to kind of grind and bounce back and you know see how they do this week with a tough Monroe team coming to town. Number six, Hickory Ridge. Big win over the rival Concord Spiders, 34-15. Top five, Harding, 24-22 win over Huff. Um, Iron Man football grinded it out. Uh, very uh, talented team. Um, they're going to try to work on depth next couple of weeks, and they're going to have a big test with Gaffney coming up down the road, and then Mallard Creek after that. Number four, Myers Park, 31-0 win over Country Day in the Charlotte Kickoff Classic. Um, very nice performance by the Mustangs. Um, offensively, they got it going. Braden Hawkins, Kamal Howard uh, was named the MVP of that game. Um, Mr. Muhammad on the outside had a nice game with some nice catches. And the defense pitching the shutout. It's a good job all around by Myers Park. Number three, West Mech. Very impressive performance. Probably the most impressive performance out of all the teams um, outside of our number one team. <laughs> With the 42-19 uh, victory over Vance in the Charlotte Kickoff Classic. Uh, very, very um, good job at the coaching staff and players uh, for West Mech. Number two is Butler, who had to buy, but this week is the big game against number one, Mallard Creek. 28-21 win over Scotland County. Uh, for you guys that don't know, Mallard Creek had very few players returning. Uh, going on the road in a hostile environment like Scotland County with the nation's best running back, and you go out there and you win. I mean, that's number one to me. <laughs> and uh, myself and Brandon uh, will be at Mallard Creek this week for the uh, number one versus number two in the best of last. So I look forward to seeing everybody. If you see us, say hello. would love to meet you. I've already met a lot of you. I appreciate all the uh, engagement, conversations, and comments and feedback. And, um, you know, we look forward to bringing you much more this season as we're just getting started. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. Appreciate it.